Hey okay. guys, today I'm going to do a video on what I think are some of the best things that were released this and this year of 2020. So we'll start off with the wackiest drum kit I've seen, which is from Vox Telstar. Now, I didn't know much about Vox Telstar. Back in the 60s, they were an extremely big deal. And James Brown's drummer used to tour with it the whole time, but the company went under the name of Trixon. Now, the company Trixon went under back in the 1970s, but this year, Vox Telstar is coming back and they've released it for 2020. It's finished in silver with this kind of crocodile look and the bass drum basically looks like it's melting. It's got a flat bottom. The idea behind this is that you can change the pitch of the drum, and just the bass drum alone, uh, depending on where you hit it. Now, I don't understand how that's going to work, but that's, that's the, what the company claim. So the skin company that's working with them is Remo. Now, personally, I think the whole thing is an ugly looking kit, but each to their own. Pearl drums weren't actually at much this year, there was nothing that really popped out. They did release 12 new finishes across their range of drums, and they were all fairly tame. There was nothing too out there or nothing that really grabbed my attention, except for these two, which I think were very nice. Uh, the first one is the Turquoise Pearl, which I think is a very nice finish, and then the Rose Stripe. One of the coolest things that ever was released for the working drummer was the Yamaha Hip Gig Kit. That was a few years ago, the idea being that the whole drum kit that you had could fit into the bass drum. Now they've come back this year for a uh, kind of compact kit, but it's not the same. Unfortunately, the bass drum depth is only 8 inches, so you can't get the whole drum kit in there, but it's very compact. So the specs are 20 inches for the bass drum, 20 by 8 inches, excuse me, 13 by 8 for the floor tom, the rack tom is 10 by 5 with a snare drum of 13 by 5. Now, the whole thing is a bird shell, and my initial thoughts looking at the rack tom was this looked very cheap, very flimsy, but I listened to it on a YouTube video and it's very, very impressive. Now, what's not so impressive is the price. This comes in at $1,160, so that's quite a price tag, so you would expect an extremely good good sound. Gretsch have a really nice piece of hardware that they've redesigned which is the bass drum rail. It's keeping that vintage look with the modern features. It can be ordered as part as a custom set when you buy the drum kit or you can buy it as a spare part. Uh, this will eliminate the use of a uh, tom stand so you don't need it anymore. Uh, the company says that it's solid as rock made for the touring drummer and it can fit any bass drum size. Worth a look is the limited edition kit from Gretsch. This is the River Cypress kit. It's part of the USA custom line and it's a lovely finish with a really great story. So the shell is a hybrid and it's a mixture between maple and gum. And the really cool thing about this is the veneer on the outside of the drum has been submerged for 60 to 150 years in the uh, PD River in South Carolina. And I think that's just a really cool story and I think it's a great selling point for the company. But it's definitely, when you look at the finish on that, uh, on the drum kit, it, it just is a very, very, very nice finish. So one of my favorite finishes that I've seen at NAM is definitely this one, and it, and it is divided opinion, and that's the Digital Black Oyster from Ludwig. Now it's a modern take on the original Black Oyster. It's only available for 2020, and the shells are maple on cherry, and the configuration is 22 by 14, so that's your bass drum, 13 by 9, and 16 by 16 on the floor tom. Unfortunately, they didn't have any matching snare. I think that would have been a nice thing to see, but I think it's a cool looking drum kit. So we'll finish up with a nice piece of hardware, and it is from Ludwig. They've released two drum pedals this year, and it's go again going back to this vintage kind of inspired look, bringing the old style back with new technology. It seems to be a theme that's going across everybody, especially in the drum world at NAM. The company say this is your father's Speed King, it's just better. This is the re innovation of the Speed King, which was a big, big deal back in the day. John Bonham used to use them, and so we're keeping the same design with a nice chrome look. A couple of things that they mentioned is a smoother direct drive linkage and the heel plate bearings. So a lot of the stuff this year just seemed to be very vintage inspired and it was with new technology added to it. So let me know down in the comment section what you thought was good. Did I leave out something if you agree with me, if you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Take it easy guys, thanks a million. Bye bye. Guys, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you like what you've seen here today, you can see a lot more videos. Just click on any of them here on the screen.